Wakataka Talks, we look at a new club that started as a joke, have a talk with Central Office about testing. Right here. Right now. On, on Tonka, Tonka Talks. Talks. Original promise, a vision, a worker, but this is an honesty chip. If you told them that infinite's limited, me for a moment, but even in hoping to different approach, and I eagerly coasted through these shits and bullshits. Not a reason I'm focused. You might see in a moment. Yeah, check him out. He checks those this right now. Keep cashing. Morning, Griffins. I'm Imari Hayward. And I'm Josh Luter. Today is November 15th. Here's how the fishing club that grew almost overnight with 50 members started as a joke, but turned into a successful club. Well, uh, fishing club initially started as a joke, just between me and my friends who actually enjoy fishing together and stuff, but uh, then it, next thing we knew, 50 kids signed up and uh, kind of took off from there. Uh, for fishing club, we just kind of get a bunch of people together, we go fish, um, I mean, pretty simple. That. The Who's fishing club sponsor is Jonathan Lamont, and uh, he really does the most he can to keep the program up and going and get, getting supplies for kids who don't have it. With all the things that we've kind of put out to ask for donations for kids who kind of need gear and stuff like that, I'm really surprised about how much money and how much gear we've gotten from asking. I'm thinking it's about roughly like 40 or 50 kids signed up, which was an overwhelming number at first, but I mean, we're doing every, everything we can to kind of supply for those kids. If you are interested in joining the fishing club, you can go talk to AJ Goss or Mr. Lamont for more information. If you are a fan of Selena Gomez, then you will love to hear that she is back and better than ever. That's right. Gomez unexpectedly joined her best friend Julia Michaels on stage Monday to sing Anxiety, a song about anxiety and depression, which Selena Gomez has been an advocate for. That's great to hear. I'm glad she's back, getting back to performing. To China citizens have been diagnosed with the Black Death Plague. Authorities said Tuesday, this is not the first time this year someone has gotten the plague. Back in May of 2019, Mongolian couple died from the bubonic plague after eating a raw kidney of a marmot. They think the reason for this outbreak may have been spread by human fleas and body lice. Rats are not just the cause. There's a major event going on in the White House. The House Committee the House committees are holding an impeachment hearing on Capitol Hill this week. The, hearing are, the hearings are designed to share information with the committees and the American people. Today marks the day three of the impeachment, and we will keep up to date as more information unfolds. And the witnesses are under oath, right? That's right. That's interesting. I wonder how this will play out. Illuminate has made, us, made our teachers and us students very stressed. Emma Hilt and Emma Mercer went to central office and interviewed Dr. Sh Shanks and Dr. S Sultan to see why Illuminate is so important. There has been a lot of stress on us students lately. We have discovered that students have to take 105 assessments on Illuminate in just 87 days. So we went out to ask Dr. Shanks and Dr. Sutton how this Illuminate data is being used. The data is being used, at, it, hopefully it's being used at the student level that you can see whether, uh, whether you're, you're learning uh, the desired outcomes in a classroom. Uh, it should be used at the teacher level so that we can adjust instruction, meaning if I teach a, a lesson over a certain topic and it's an it's important topic and then my students take an assessment and they don't do very well on that assessment, hopefully I take that data and I go back and, and I reteach. Uh, so that so that you can learn as a student, and 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 then just be as, as successful as you possibly can. It's used at the building level, where that you're you're building principals and administrators can look at the big picture of all the students in the building to see how they're doing on certain uh, subject areas uh, for for importance as well. And then we use it at the at the district level to monitor building performance, so that we know which school buildings are, are progressing uh, towards the mastery of standards. 
So the data is used in all kinds of different ways. Um, it can be used by students uh, to get an understanding of how well they're progressing on some of the standards that their teachers are teaching. It can be used by teachers to see the progress that uh, their students are making on the standards that they're teaching. It can be used by your building principals and it's uh, used, I know, by them a lot to see what kind of progress they're making as a whole school. And then as a school district, we can look and see um, what kind of progress we're making as a whole school district. And we do that pretty frequently as well. From WGTV, this has been Emma Mercer and Emma Hill signing out. Oh boy, that's some very important stuff. Can't wait for an update on that. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Josh Sluter. And I'm Imari Hayward. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Y'all, less of the south, too complex of the rest of town.